So I want to make certain that I'm making it clear that uh, 2D collage is not the only type of collage that you could be making. Um, there are some people that I know that are very famous for uh, collaging onto 3D surfaces. Um, people that do it for tabletops, people that do it onto chairs and furniture. Um, one of the simpler forms is just a regular box, um, which I have a cardboard box here, for example. But another type of box that's really great to use are empty wooden boxes, um, cigar boxes. Um, they tend to have a little more porous of a surface because of the wood. Um, and when you're using those types of surfaces, it's a very different way of approaching the collage because if it's something that opens and closes, you have creases on the end that you have to deal with and work with. So when you're adhering, you have to adhere down your pieces and then also open it up and make sure that as it's opened, the piece works as well. So sometimes things have to get scored, like we were scoring the edges of the tape. Um, in order to keep them flexible so that when you open and close such a thing, you can do that. Um, I also make a lot of handmade books and cover the surfaces um, in collage as well, so you have to be thinking about those things.